Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And uh, this video is thank to every single one of you that gave a like on the part 1. And uh, today, because of that uh, amazing breaking of the meta, we, the meta was 5 likes but we got 12 likes. We're going to be reacting today to an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising part 2. So, thank you so much again to everyone that gave a like. I hope you guys also enjoyed this video. And you guys can go right now to the channel and also find the part 1 there to react to if you did not see this video. And don't forget guys, the most important thing is to support the original creator. So go ahead and give a like for Maxor, the original creator, that will be linked down in the description. As well as maybe give a like on this video. Every one of you who gave a like on the previous video, can we reach the meta again? 5 likes, can we reach this meta? I'm counting on you. And also, please be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, share the channel, share the video, and uh, just have a good time. That's why I make this video, so you guys can have someone to watch some reactions with. And guys, thanks so much for all the support you guys have given. Don't forget that maybe this week we'll have the, the 900 subscribers special. And uh, let's get to 1000 now. We're so close, we are almost at 980 subscribers. I hope you guys can help us get to 1000. And I hope to see you guys on many more videos after this. Okay? Okay. So, without further ado, let's see what is so incorrect about Metal Gear Rising 2. Metal Gear Rising, Sons of Delivery, and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator, well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. The answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper, a man, probably, on a quest to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just going to be more confused than an American at a salad bar. Yes, go check the part one, quickly. These songs are so good. These background music are so good. And I don't think this is even from the original game yet. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. But as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with Biden, is forced to argue with a decapitated head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What? Boots with the fur. <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true meaning of based through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, finally finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need a token black person. What the fuck? He and Peter. What? Blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a sign. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby hosted by Mr. Mosby. <laughs> After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? Please destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all cost, to a... Of course, if you're linked to a government agency, you're gonna use the agents to destroy all debt that you have in other companies, of course. A classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. We're all gangsta paradise. Corn pop, I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam look like clown college. We even have Jesus. Richardson. It's so cool that you can slice everything in this game. Damn. See, the situation has escalated. Amazon HQ. What is up, gamers? Max or here, and today we're gonna be entering the um the, the what the fuck? So it turns out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese culture, like a really big wow. fan of Japanese culture, to the extent that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental, it's killing dolphins. Some say that the rocket launcher is almost as effective as a shuriken. Maybe. Raiden traverses the Hidden Leaf Village with the DK crew. 
and enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bone's wild ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the Jesus, way Jesus, that's a tall room. building. What is that music I hear? Space call in the arc. Oh golly, oh geo Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to meet my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. So now we're forced to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge tolerance. Oh. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player. Both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very very bad. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. Oh, another one. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he, he's a nice cock. Oh. No one can ever have enough memes. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. Yeah, kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? Warcraft what? This. Can't eat the drywall that. Microwave and mice is wrong, they say. Ooh, what the fuck? Not to worry. Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. Jesus. How else is a man supposed to make his impact? You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino's just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit. Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, oh. the demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after night. Beat him up, beat up, beat up, beat up Buff Bezos. Speak for yourself. Let's debate this on the roof. Really? Context. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough room in this preschool for the two of us. Kill him already, Raiden. Like I said, kids are cruel, Jack. And I love my Ugh. Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason, a helicopter. Go, go, gadget, concealed carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack of human empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but really? his health is the length of a Cambodian life in 1977, meaning once Oh. Past that the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. But if you do this, you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. Oh, the songs, I hope we don't get a copyright, but these are so good. This is as bad shit as it looks. Nice. No more buff Bezos. I upgrade Raiden's item as we board a helicopter being driven by a uh, uh, doctor how did you get an aircraft <laughs> oh credit card debt. of course by the way Raiden do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense it was like carving a pumpkin well I think you missed one I can't go to prison Raiden why because you play Genshin no Raiden I'm a Nazi well, time to kill myself. I did not expect that about? one there's so much hearts of iron to play I'm gonna not see you in a second not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard Ooh. way. So, 
So Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a different game. The volume is a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly up. Uh, really? It's kind of loud. The graphics are um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zandatsu to cut through the environment dynamically. Yeah, that uh, that seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night, and is forced to play a previous level but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Wait, really? You go back to the same area and you need to replay it? That's unexpected, honestly. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Soul's time. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Right, and you ran over a child nine miles back. What are you going to do? Good day. <laughs> Good day. I never played Oblivion. Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The clown college is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Ooh. Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. But I live with my mother. Is this her house? Oh, this this looks like a really cool fight. Two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds. It's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's hey. making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no monsoon telling me about fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. This is the best boss ever. Holy shit! Right in disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in. Goddamn Yakuza. Hey Raiden, look at this cool bug I found. Oh Raiden, no need to flip out. The Lucas Brazilian man is powerful. Power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks, strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. I don't have a choice. Second phase? Third phase? To a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. So Raiden goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an AV unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a of star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax? He's out of gas. Just would like to point out again, the weakest Brazilian man is strong, man. I really need to play Metal Gear Rising. Oh, yes, 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 that's good. <laughs> Sam, doll, give me some of that. Raiden McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, he Whoa. can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. Oh, God. I have kept him alive using... Joe Biden. Child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts. And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad. Oh fuck up, I've returned with a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Now with our transportation acquired... Hey, TF2 music! Fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Tecumseh. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. Ooh. Raiden, have you 
heard of the hit game Among Us? You need to vent, right? And I know it will be hard to be sus. You might notice something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly- I miss iCarly. Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a Family Guy episode. No, I wanted to feed you that chocolate. Before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand-year-old cicada. How were they hiding this giant thing inside the earth? What the fuck? I well, if it isn't Sussy Jack. Oh, uh, finally we get to see Senator Armstrong. He's the best meme so far on this on this game. I know this game and I like the this game because of him. All the memes and all the speeches that he gave they are so funny to watch. Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American Jeez. spirit. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in I need to Get a better position in my chair, excuse me. Okay, the, the, the previous position was hurting a little bit, but oh, let's go. In this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. Memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Um, so, internet is a American distraction? Imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once oh. before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is oh, I've seen this meme! <laughs> Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N word. Oh what? god. No. Catch. I've got my own to debate online. In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one to one with All I Want for Christmas. I'm not joking. Although it does. For some reason, Raiden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my stepdad. Raiden suplexes the giant ah. for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a a bigger sword. Fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. <laughs> Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. It's funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck Ooh. with this, Senator. What? Snap into a slim gym. Mm. <laughs> Typical politician. All cock, but no cum. What? Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> the truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know it's very hard to believe, but that's just what the USA is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these lipstick YouTubers and Ooh. chicken shit Redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit! I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side. To build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions. Just like the Founding Fathers intended. What do you say, Raiden? Why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist! Ooh! What the fuck was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. 
Oh, don't stop the song. Okay, here we go. Just like me. And here's the. Every time I start singing, the song stops. Ooh! My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden. Brian Griffin. You can't give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome. Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, I was always lucky there was a family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska. You are the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. That's right. I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little dog chance. I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't my sword. <laughs> It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up, guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bond. You know, he can be a... This guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a question, and the answer is yes. Start praying, boy. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and a This boss seems amazing. The power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even Ooh. the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's Ooh. why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. And in other news, a United States senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Manslaughter doctor? I did that shit on purpose. Oh, this was so cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. This was amazing. Especially the Center Armstrong part. And I did not know that the, the, the my source that I made the fuck up meme came directly from here. I thought it was from maybe the game itself. I did not know it was from this video, but it was very surprising. Uh, but I need to play Metal Gear Rising someday. This looks amazing. Guys, thank you so much for coming to this video and thank you so much for reaching the medal on the last video. Let's see if we can hit the 5 likes medal on this one too. I hope to see you guys next time. Remember to give a like to Max or a like on this video. Share the video, comment, subscribe. Let's get to a thousand. And if you can, I just hope you guys are having a good day. I hope this video helped you maybe just a little bit to just, uh, I don't know, take your mind off some annoying things. And I'll see you guys next time and hopefully on many more videos after that. Okay? See you guys next time. Bye!